Hello everybody, I'm Xanoit, and today we're playing some Ark Survival Evolved again. Back with the update 239. And this time, it's because we need to tame the Manta, which we didn't get to do last episode, which was kind of annoying. But I still have my bear, so that's fantastic. And he's kind of looking at me kind of angry, and I don't know if I like that very much. Oh well. Let's go ahead and get started. But first things first, I want to thank you guys for watching my video. If you guys enjoy the episode, don't forget to hit that like button, share, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Hit the dislike button if you didn't like the video, uh, because that's what it's there for. I mean, they wouldn't have put it there otherwise, right? So go ahead and hit that dislike button if you don't like it, and leave a comment as to why you didn't dis... dis Man, that's like the second time I've done that. Didn't I was going to say that didn't dislike it. Leave a comment if you did dislike it. And let me know if there's anything I can do better. I'll definitely try my best to do whatever it is I need to do. Um, and if you just think the video is just kind of like, eh, like, you know, boring, whatever. It's just, it's there, but not really like, you didn't dislike it, but you didn't like it either. Go ahead and leave me a comment of that too, and just let me know so that I uh, know that I there's something else I need to be doing. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's go ahead, I got all my scuba gear with me, and I still have the angler gel, which is what the manta eats. Now, I need to go find the manta, I was kind of sucked last time because I didn't get to find it, and I was like looking where I thought it was supposed to be. I'm going to go look there again, where I think it's supposed to be, uh, at least one of the places, and um, we'll see if we can find one today, which hopefully we will. We better find one today. Uh, I'm not going to stop until I do find one today. Alright, well, I'll meet you guys at our next spot. Okay, so we have found a Manta, and I'm not entirely sure how to tame it. I think it's supposed to be a passive tame. So, I think you're supposed to swim up to it and feed it, but it doesn't let you do it. I don't know what to do. I, like, swim around in circles and, like, try to get close to it. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. But these things attack really, really hard. And I can't even get close to this one to tame it. I think I saw it one time when I got close enough, but I don't see it right now. Man, this is ridiculous. How do you do this? Like, how are you supposed to tame them? I don't want... Oh, see, it said something. I fed them one. But they're so, like... This is like an actual hard passive tame, like... Because you can't just like calmly walk behind them like you do all the other ones. You just have to sit here and swim around in a circle. And um I, I think this is it. I think this is what you're supposed to do. I don't I'm not entirely sure. I don't know what like the best possible way of doing it is. I guess you just swim around until they get tired. He's not hungry. Uh, I hope it doesn't go on to land, because that's not going to be good. Alright. I'm going to get myself back onto land, though. Because if not, I'm going to die. From stamina and drowning. Well, I'm not going to drown, because I have my thing on, but... Stamina, and then he'll attack me till I die. Alright, so I'm going to continue just doing this, I guess, because this is the only way I know how. And, um... It's the only way I know how to not... Oh, God. Okay, he got in front of me. Um, shit. This isn't good. So he's still not hungry. I guess I just have to wait till he's hungry. That's the only thing I can do. But uh, I'm going to continue doing this, because I know it's like really dark and stuff. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm still leading it around in a circle, and I think this next feat should be it. If I can get to it. Nope. Okay, it's going to take one more then. One more. It's taken me a couple of tries. I've had to keep jumping out of the water because of stamina reasons. And then when I get back to him, sometimes if he swims too far away, I can't get to him. And, like, I would keep swimming with him right now, but I don't want to run out of stamina. I'd be stuck in the middle of the water, so that just wouldn't be good. So I'm going to regain a little bit of stamina. Hopefully, it's still only going to take one eat when I get back to him. And hopefully he didn't swim too far. So let's see where he's at. There he goes down there. 
All right, he should be swimming towards me, and I'm gonna circle around him. No, okay. Let's go. Get on him. Come here. One more. Seriously? Come on. No. Oh. Oh. Shit. Shit. Okay. He attacked me. All right. Now it's gonna take one more. Hopefully. I thought that was gonna be the last one. Um, it looked like it was gonna be right on the edge. These things hit super hard. I mean, like, I saw one, and <laughs> it's funny because. Uh, so it actually is going to have the same like kind of mechanic that I was thinking it was going to have where they can just jump on land and uh, die. So that's kind of what happens. I saw a wild one do that. Why is it not taming? It looks like the bar is like, right at the end. I don't get it. Oh god, another hit. Man, these things are just powerful. And uh, well, the story I was getting at was uh, I almost actually died because this one and another one were attacking me. Uh, the other one actually died because it jumped up on land trying to chase me because I finally did get to land. Come on. There we go. Tamed it. Tamed a manta. Fantastic. That was like the worst ever. Um. Uh, let's, I don't know, manty. Let's go with that. Alright, so he's going to follow me. And I'm going to get myself back up here. But that's definitely one of the more harder passive teams, I guess. Um. Well, at least the way I did it. I'm not sure. There may be other ways of doing this. Don't follow me, please. Please don't follow me onto land. I don't want you to die already. You took long enough to get. And that's not even a super high level one, so it, it took me a little bit of time. I'm going to go and um, get my shark, or my megalodon over there. And Now, it's weird because their DOS here did say um, that they were going to be able to be ridden bareback. But as you can see, it's not the case. You do have to have a saddle for them. So we're going to go back to base and we're going to go make a saddle for them. And I'm not sure and where why Alkris has that thing on Wander, but he does. Um, and I guess if you're wondering, in one place to find them, at least that I have noticed there you can find them, is around Herbivore Island. So that's why I came over here to uh, Alkris' base over here, where he has this uh, trike on Wander for some odd reason. But... Anyways, I'm going to go get my Megalodon, we're going to head back to base, we're going to get a saddle for the Mantity, and we are going to see how it is to jump out of the water with it, and hopefully not onto land to kill it. Okay, so pretty much the worst thing possible just happened, my Mantity died. There's nothing around here that would have killed it. I'm not entirely sure what happened, I was just, I had him following me, and all of a sudden it said Mantity died, so... That is uh, apparently a thing that happens when you have a mantity follow you. There's nothing around here that would have killed it. Nothing. Unless he did it. The fish, the coal did it. But dude, that sucks, man, because that took me a good bit of time to tame. These things are the worst. Anyways. What's going to happen now is I'm going to go back because I don't want to have that same issue happen to me twice. I'm going to go back to base. I'm going to build me a saddle for this guy, uh, for the mant uh, the, the mantity, uh, for the manta. I want to build a saddle for him so that when I do tame another one over here, I can just ride it back without it dying is the plan. Hopefully that works and it doesn't die while I'm riding it for some odd reason. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, righty then. So the Manta is a thing now. Finally. After a very long while of uh, taming and a lot of broken armor. Yeah, I broke a lot of my flak armor and whatnot. Um, these things are somewhat difficult to tame just because you need to go on land to, you know, get stamina and stuff. And when you do that, if they follow you up to land, they do like to beach themselves and kill themselves, which is kind of a pain so um yeah but if you get one they're really nice this one uh, is a really good one I tamed it out 127 so fantastic it was a pretty good level it took forever though at least I feel like it took forever um, but neat thing they're really they're pretty fast um, I might use this to get around a lot more uh, their stamina seems to last forever, at least mine does, so it does like sprint forever, so I don't have to keep stopping like I do on my Megalodon, which is great for me. And also, it has this neat feature. 
I'm not sure uh, like how practical that is, like what you would need to jump out of the water for, but it's really cool looking. Plus that little like uh, stream of water that flies up whenever you're doing this is pretty neat too. So I want to see if its attack is still as powerful as it was whenever it was killing me. So I'm going to fight, yes there's that Megalodon I saw. I know their health sucks though, so you kind of don't want to get hit too many times, but... And it looks like it's doing okay on health. I mean, you might not want to fight more than one thing at a time. I took out that Megalodon pretty easily, um, considering I haven't leveled him up too much, so I haven't put too much into attack. I don't know if I'm going to do that or speed. I might want speed, to be honest. I think being really fast in the water would be super beneficial. At least I would think it would. Let me see. Let's fight this Megalodon and see if it's a higher level. Maybe it'll do a little bit more to it. So I can kind of like just follow behind it and try to like stay out of its attack range. Uh, although it looks like it attacks me when I'm behind it as well. So it doesn't really look like that helps. But it looks like it really shines. I guess if you're fighting a player in the water, it would suck for them because their armor would break. Come on. You can die. Just do it. Just give up. There we go. Fantastic. So it was a level 52, a little bit tougher. It did drain my health a lot, so... That's that. I'm going to go ahead and take him back and let him heal up. Oh, and for uh, healing purposes, they actually do eat meat. Um... And they eat that for food and stuff too, so if you find one starving, you know what to feed it. Which is weird, you can't tame them with meat, but that's what you feed them to keep them alive. So we're going to go ahead and go park him back at our little base area. I want to make sure this guy's on passive, because I don't want him to accidentally get beached and die. So don't attack target, plus I don't want to lose him, so I think he'll be good on passive, especially with the other fish around here guarding him. And I'm not sure if I showed this off yet, but I've been working on something. I figured with the new primitive cannons, I was going to upgrade my boat. So let's go ahead and take this off and put all of this back on. And uh, I upgraded the boat. I had to destroy the primitive cannon, but don't worry, I'm going to try to gather up some metal and make uh, some more primitive cannons and yes I do mean more I'm gonna need more than just one so let's get up in here there's this uh, there's that way to get in here plus there's this way from the ladder that you saw up front for other people that I might want to get up in um, I'm gonna might replace these with windows just so people can kind of shoot out of the side right here and it just kind of like maybe put a bench or something for people to have like a kind of a covered area to sit in and uh, got some more windows in here for people if they want to hide in here and, and maybe shoot out the side if they have a gun or rockets or whatever. And then for whenever we get enough materials to build a couple of primitive cannons, I have area up here to do so. This is probably where I'll be storing all my cannonballs uh, that I don't need like at the moment. And uh, just some extra storage out here in the open so that when we're you know fighting we can kind of have some readily available right next to it. And I plan on putting cannons kind of all around here and maybe which one in the back just to help give us some boost maybe? Or, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, just to shoot stuff, you know, like if we're trying to flee away and someone's trying to chase us. And it's getting foggy outside. Yeah, so this is my battleship, at least right now. It's kind of the idea that I came up with, so I like it. It's not too bad. Go ahead and... Uh, it being only one wall high it kind of only accommodates like short characters I guess because if you're tall you're probably going to poke through the top but it'll be alright I think it's a pretty good boat or a little battleship I just need to be able to get the cannons which cost a lot of metal well I finally accomplished what I was set out to accomplish to do and that's to tame a manta. Next thing on the list for this update is going to be the Broodmother Arena, which me and Core are definitely going to be working on, trying to get all the artifacts for you guys so that I can uh, go to fight the Broodmother in the new Broodmother Arena. And it'll be a first 
broodmother fight that I have done to win, so that's going to be exciting. I'm trying to look for food, and I don't know why I looked in the smithy. So, I'm going to eat all of that. Alright, so it's foggy and raining. Interesting combination. So stuff is getting done. Fantastic, I feel accomplished now. Now that I got the manta, hopefully it doesn't die sometime soon. That would kind of suck. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode for now. If you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit that like button, share, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Hit the dislike button if you didn't like the video, that's what it's there for. Hit the like button again if you liked my dude pooping. Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. Later, guys.